So, if you guys already know, Jin is a mythic brawler who have ability to pull enemy to his current location, or we can call it a hook ability. Just like Fudge from Dota 2, Roadhog from Overwatch, Franco from Mobile Legend, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, and other. But if you think Jin is useful only for his super, then you are wrong. Back in the day, Jin role was supposed to be a support brawler. But now Brawl Star changed his role to be a controller, and that is for a reason. Jin is a brawler who also has a good crowd control and even a healer at the same time. And he can even be a game changer in some event, especially Brawl Ball and Gym Grab. But it all depends on how you play this brawler. For the start, let's discuss Jin's normal tag, Smoke Bombs. Jin shoots a solid ball from his lamp on medium range. But if it doesn't hit anything, it splits up and spread into 6 projectiles that have a wider range, and it increases his attack even further. In his range description, very long means is when Jin attack doesn't hit anything and it splits into 6 projectiles. So it's better to remember, his normal attack range is actually medium and his 6 projectiles just a bonus range, just like Nani normal attack. On a max level, his attack deal 1440 damage, and when it splits, one of these projectiles deals 240 damage. And you need 4 hits with his medium range smoke ball to fully charge your super. That means if you depend on his 6 spreading projectile, you will need 24 hits to charge his super. And that will take the entire duration to charge your super. So it's better to keep your distance on medium distance if you want to charge your super faster. So, what's the projectile even used for? This projectile is more effectively used for harassing enemy and stopping them regenerating health. And also it's important not to use all the attacks in a row because Jin has a slow reload speed. So, if you want to harassing your enemy with projectiles, you only need one attack and wait until your attack is full again. So you still have two more attacks for emergency. Now, let's talk about Genie's super magic hand. Jin launched a magical hand to pull any back to Jin's location. That's it. The only difference with Grey Gadget Walking Cave is it have a longer range. So, how do we maximize the usage of this super? This super is very useful against a long distance throwers. Since Grey Gadget have a short range, which make it difficult for him to approach the thrower. What if we miss the super? Well, for that you need more practice and predictability to hit your super. However, I have a way to make your gene gameplay more effective. And that is the way you use his gadget, star power, and gear properly. Let's make this simple. 
Jean have two gadgets, lamp blowout and French post filter. The first gadget is lamp blowout. Make anyone near Jean push back and restore Jean's health about 600 health. Just like M's gadget, but instead of dealing damage to opponent, it's recover your health. But in one condition, the gadget has to hit the opponent to regenerate health. Otherwise, this gadget doesn't regenerate your health at all. So make sure to use this gadget when the enemy is very close to you. Cause if you use it when the opponent is a little further from you, this gadget will be useless. The second gadget is Vengeful Spirit. Jin shoot a homing missile goes to visible enemy and deal 1000 damage on max range. If the enemy is very close, the minimum damage can be dealt is only 287 damage. There's a good thing and a bad thing with this gadget. The good thing is, this gadget will damage anything that's hit it. So, for the example, when there are 3 enemies in range and they all line up, this gadget will shoot 3 ghosts at them and will damage whatever it hits them. That means, if they all line up, the enemy at the forefront will receive all the damage from the 3 ghosts. And the bad thing is, this gadget can go through walls, which make this gadget useless in map that have a lot of walls and corners. This gadget is suitable to use in the open maps. I personally prefer blowout lamps because they are more efficient in all conditions. And now let's discuss about Jin Star Power, Magic Buff, and Spirit Slam. Jin for Star Power, Magic Buff. Jin heals all teammates around him for 400 health per second. Now this is the star power that will turn Jin into a walking healing turret. Even though the heal is still lower than Pam healing turret, this star power is very useful to support your teammates. Because now you are a walking healing turret, your role is to follow your teammate behind them and keep them healed, especially a tank roller. The most efficient way to use the star power is team up with Buster. Not only healing Buster, but you near Buster, Buster also charging his super at the same time. The only counter for this star power is Bell or any enemy who have splash area damage. If you got hit by Bell attack, her bullet will bounce and make this star power useless. But if you want to play aggressively, you can use his other star power, Spirit Slap. Jin Super now can damage enemy for 1000 damage. This gadget is so effective to hunt down your enemy, because on a max level, if you can land all 3 normal attack on the enemies and hit them with your super, the total damage they received was 5320 damage. That was a quite a lot to obliterate some rollers on full health. Now, I will show you guys the best gym combination of gadgets, star power, and gear. But before that, can you guys please subscribe so I can make more video like this? I'm gonna say it straightforward to you guys. I just need 1000 subscribers so I can qualify for monetize and make more better video. So if you be so kind, subscribe please, it's free and not hurting anybody. Thank you very much. Anyway, back to the video. So my most recommended build for Jin is Magical Puff, Lamp Blowout, Vision Gear, and Damage Gear. With this build, you will be able to crowd control almost any kind of map. Because you can keep tracking enemy movement in the bruises with your vision gear. You also become a walking healing turret to healing your teammate. Extra damage on low health from damage gear allow you to deal more damage to your enemy. Also, a gadget to keep your distance against short range or a melee brawler. There are also another good combination you can try, like spirit slap and vengeful spirit. If you can land your super and use your gadget at the same time, you can deal 1700 damage. If you want to play support role, the best gear to choose is Vision Gear. With Jin's split projectile attack, it's easy to keep eyes on your enemy when they excite the bushes. If you play on a map that may have a lot of thrower, the best gear to choose is Talk to the Hand Gear. With extra range in your super, you can reach a thrower on the very back. If you use Spirit Slap Star Power and you play aggressively, the best gear to choose is Damage Gear, and any other gear is rotational depending on your Jin gameplay. And now I'm gonna show you a trick that will help you to improve your Jin gameplay. And also, this is why I prefer to use Lamb Blowout gadgets than the other one. 
first, I call this one kick and pull trick. A simple trick if you play on pro ball. All you need to do is when you have the ball and there's one enemy guarding the goal, you need to kick the ball and use super at the same time. Just make sure you land your super before enemy cover the ball. Secondly, I call this one pull and push trick. The function of this trick is if you accidentally pull a wrong enemy and make a distance between you and the enemy. When you pull the enemy, you can use your gadget to push them back. And sometimes, if you pull a brawler who already have a super, when they got pulled, they will use that super immediately. But, if you use your gadget after pulling them, there's a chance you can cancel their super. Third is called kick and push trick. The same trick as the first one, but this one you only need lamp blowout gadget. When the first trick only works for one enemy, this trick can be used against multiple enemies. When you kick the ball, immediately use your gadget to push them away, giving a gap for the ball to pass through the enemy. But to be able to use this trick, you need to be very close to the goal. The last trick, I call this one, pull them all the way home trick. This trick can be a game changer on gem grab mode. As a hooker, in gem grab mode, all you need to do is keep an eye on enemy gem carrier. You can make this trick even better with talk to the hand gear, and make sure to land your super. Keep in mind, Jin super is pull an enemy into Jin location, not the location when you use your super. That means, after you use your super, immediately walk back to your spawn before your super hits the enemy. So, when you successfully landing your super on enemy gem carrier, they will get pulled all the way back to your spawn and your team can secure the gem. For the example, what if the gem carrier is Shelly with super, or Macy with super, or any close range brawler? With the second trick, pull and push combination, not only you able to put gem carrier like Shelly, Macy, or even close range brawler to back of your spawn, you can also push them back to create some space from their close range attack and also avoid or even cancel their super. So, that's all quite tips and tricks I can share with you guys. I'm sorry if there are any wrong or misspeaking word, English is not my first language. And also, I'm sorry if my audio quality is really bad, I don't have a good mic to record my voice. And if you really enjoy this content, please give it a like, share with your Brawl Star friends, and subscribe so I can make more of this video in the future. And I can have a better equipment for my future videos. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.